It's Friday the 7th of September, my name's Steve Buswell and you're watching Axtree's News Broadcast. Let's start with a technical outlook for the Euro dollar. As long as price holds above daily pivot, we can expect rise towards R1 resistance. If price holds above this level, consolidation will continue and break above this level will confirm target at R2. Price will probably approach R3 resistance, but might top earlier. An overview of Axtree's chosen indicators show a bullish trend. Next up we have the dollar yen. We're expecting price test above daily pivot and then decline towards support S1. In this case, further fall isn't excluded, but if price holds above resistance R1, rise could probably continue and target will remain at R2. A vast majority of our indicators expect a bearish trend. Following that, the outlook concerns the sterling dollar. If price holds above daily pivot, we can expect target will remain at R1. Price could possibly break above this level if it has enough momentum, but top will be formed earlier before reaching resistance R2. Also, decline below daily pivot will confirm target at support S1. According to the summary of our chosen indicators, we can expect a bullish trend. Finishing up our outlook is the dollar franc. We're expecting after consolidation, price could break above daily pivot and then focus on retesting resistance R1, and top could be formed around resistance R2. If price holds above daily pivot, fall below S1 and target S2 support will be confirmed. Indicators show a bearish trend for the dollar franc. Today's first figures will concern foreign currency reserves in Switzerland, which will be released at 8am GMT. In a previous report, it showed an increase to 408.6 billion. Next at 9.30am GMT, Office for National Statistics is going to publish figures about manufacturing production in the UK. It's expected rise 2.1% compared to a previous fall by 2.9%. At the same time, the same agency is going to publish numbers about PPI input, which is expected to improve to 1.3% to 1.6%. Both UK news will have a high impact on the sterling. At 1.30pm GMT, Bureau of Labour Statistics will release news about non-farm employment change in the United States. In a previous report, employment increased by 163,000, while now is expected deterioration and rise only 123,000 in employed people. Next news from this agency will be published at the same time concerning unemployment rate. Analysis are expected it will remain at 8.3% and both US news will have a high impact on the dollar. And finally, we bring you a summary of the best traders and their strategies on Axtree, which are available to you. In Mirror Trader platform, Sphinx strategy remains first, followed by Teo with 734.4 pips in the last 90 days. PM Invest Capital did increase to 759.7 pips, but it wasn't able to move to second place. But if we look at the difference between second and third place, it's only 0.01 points. IGSF funded multi-trader remains at first place with a monthly average of 9.52% and has the highest rank. There is over 10% difference between second and third place if you compare rank figures and this is only 0.02 points. And on this day in 1960, the Ivory Coast becomes independent. Thanks for tuning in to Actually's Broadcast, have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday.